Hi, so we're here for Online Dancing Weekly and we're, I've, I've joined uh, Guy Mundy and grabbed him um, for a, a few minutes chatty. We don't get to, to see you over here that often, Guy. No, you, uh, really. you, you, you live in Florida. Yeah. And tell us what Florida's like. Florida's warm. It's, uh, it's great. You know, you've got everything there. You've got the beach, you've got forest, you've got little bitty mountains. Uh, <clears throat> but the weather's great most of the year, so... Have you always lived in Florida? No, I'm originally from South Carolina. Uh, I was born right outside of Augusta, Georgia. And uh, I moved to Orlando right after I graduated high school. So... Yeah. And what did you, um, what did you do for work in, in Florida? Because I know you've, you've got many talents. Yeah, I, uh, I actually moved to Orlando. My brother was working for Walt Disney World. And uh, I got a job working at Walt Disney World um, in the attractions department and operating rides and stuff like that. And so I did that for about a year, year and a half. And then uh, I uh, auditioned for the entertainment department. Uh, one of the guys that I was hanging out with, I started dancing and he was like, you need to audition. And so I auditioned for the entertainment department. And, uh, was a dancer and a puppeteer for Disney for like almost 12 years. And I know you, you, you do, uh, you do sh um, boat interiors as well. Yeah. You're um, a carpenter. I'm a seventh generation carpenter. Uh, me and my cousin started a company about, about almost five years ago and we do uh, custom interiors on yachts, and a lot of wooden boat restoration, things like that. Uh, and then I own another company that I've had for about 13, 13 or 14 years, 14 years, um, I design and build puppets, props, theatrical sets, and animatronics for like Disney, Universal, and stage, and television. Now, being very well prepared, we just happen to have one of your puppets here, don't yeah, we? It just happened. Yeah, just happen just, to have a puppet I, here. I, in fact, this is one that I'm making, uh, made for a friend um, in England, his name is Chris. And uh, he'll be getting this puppet in about a week and a half. He, but he's going to travel around Europe with me for a while and uh, see the sights. So he really doesn't have a name yet. I'm going to let Chris name him, so we'll see how that goes. And, and how are you feeling today, Puppet? All right. And uh, do you dance, Puppet? Not yet. So you've not got a name, so I'm calling you Puppet. Puppet. It's okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the middle of Sesame Street here. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how'd you go about making a puppet? Um, well, like I, I, I see the friend. You know, if, they, if a friend wants one, <clears throat> I'll look at their face and determine a little bit of you know cartoonist, cartoonist uh, things about them, and uh, then I'll just build the puppet. Uh, but for like when I'm doing for Disney or something like that, they normally have a specific design that they want, so I'll have to follow their criteria. Or so, but when I'm just doing something for a friend, uh, I got a little bit more leeway in what I want to do. So, <laughs> very freaky. <laughs> And so, when you know, we obviously know you, you absolutely love to dance, yeah. um, and you obviously have several different businesses and work very, very hard. Yeah. What do you like to do to relax? Uh, I like to fish. I love to fish uh, and cook. Um, my main downtime thing uh, when I get to is uh, fishing. So, I, I have a couple of boats that sit behind the house, and whenever I get the chance when I'm at home, first thing I do is I'm on the boat, like... Uh, my wife, Natalie, she likes to work out a lot, and I'm not big into the working out thing, so uh, she knows when I go and get on the boat, that's my thing, so that's my downtime, my relaxation. You're doing a bit of healthy living at the moment as well, you're trying to, trying to cut down on the, the, yeah, yeah, the alcohol. Yeah, uh, in fact, um, <clears throat> I was a very, very heavy, heavy drinker for a long time, like 20, 22 years, and... Uh, I gave it up for like two months completely and uh, don't keep alcohol in the house anymore. I have a, a drink occasionally at an event now and just feel a lot better, 100% better, you know, I'm a lot more motivated at things that I do and 
Yeah, so it, it's a is that an age thing? Do you find do you find dancing is physically more difficult as you as you're getting a little oh, older? Oh yeah, it, 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 it's always that you know you, you feel your body wearing on you. But no, it was it was a choice that I needed to make. Um, you get it's it's tough. Um, it was really putting a, a damper on certain parts of my life, and I knew that I needed to make a change, and uh, I just decided one day, all right, I'm going to quit, and I told Natalie, this is the day, and I'm stopping this day, and uh, it was May 20th this year, and I, in fact, had to have a friend come down and stay with me for uh, nine days, thank you, Louis St. George, and uh, Donna. Um, because we didn't know how bad it was going to affect me, and it was it was pretty tough. But we knew Louis could handle me. You know, he's, he's about the only one that could handle me. So uh, it, it it went all right. Uh, it, there were some tough days, but made it through. So stuck my mind at working on the house and doing things around the house, building a deck and things like that. So what? Um, so it worked out. Are you, you you mentioned your house. I've seen I've seen pictures of your house. It's absolutely beautiful. Are you, are you house proud? Are you do you very very house proud? Um, thing about the house is I don't touch anything inside the living space of the house. That's Natalie's thing. She I I'll go off on a trip and come back and it'll be a different color. But like I get the garage that's mine and outside like the deck and the boats. That's all me I take care of that Natalie doesn't mess with that stuff so we have our she has the inside of the house and then I've got the outside and the garage so. but I'm very proud worked really hard I had a house we had a house in Orlando for a long time and then um, with my company I could move because I own it I just so me and my cousin started this company and so I was commuting between uh, St. Augustine and um, um, Orlando and it was tough because when I wasn't traveling, I was still away from home. And uh, so I just told Nat, I said, you know, she could move, you know, she could transfer jobs. And uh, so found a house that we liked on the coast and uh, we sold our house in Orlando and moved to the coast. We've been in the house for four years now and love it, man. Love it. We're like a mile away from the beach, so... Worked hard to have it, you know, got it for a great deal, you know, the housing market went, and I said, yeah, so we got a good deal in the house.